Good evening. I'm sorry I'm not able to be with you here at the, at the banquet tonight, but uh, my name is Ron Phillips, and I've been asked uh, by uh, the dean if I could give some background as to how um, the Creole really, we got it started at the university. One of the things that we did, we were asked to do by the governor at the time was uh, Governor Bob Graham uh, to to look at having panels of for high technology for new centers around the state, and I was asked to serve as a, as the um, chairman of the lightwave panel or laser panel uh, for for the state. I, I had a number of people on my panel that might even be here tonight. Of course, uh, Bill Schwartz is not with us any longer. We we lost him some years ago, but Doug Stanley and Jim Pearson were on our, my panel. I was uh, asked to be chairman of it, and uh, so we, we did uh, a lot of investigation around the state. Several other universities were also on it, uh, and, and then to try to decide how is it we could f capitalize on some of the laser work that was being developed here in, uh, in Orlando. Most of it had to do with uh, Martin Marietta. And, and the spin-offs from Martin Marietta. So we, we had, a, we had a, a really spectacular industrial panel as well as academics. We f did a study and then we filed a report with the governor's office, the high technology panel. Um, it was called the, high the Florida High Technology Industry um, Council. And it recommended that we recommended that that um, we that a center of excellence be established at the University of Central Florida. Uh, of course, being the state of Florida, there's a lot of consternation among all the universities that other places should have it. But industry really stepped up to it and said, "No, this is where it ought to be." We filed our our report is to make the this fledgling little organization we were talking about as a center of optical research and uh, to be a center of excellence. The uh, state industry in the area here, led by um, Cy Zyberg, uh, gave us a big help. And we went, to, uh, we went to, the, to the legislature and lobbied the legislature for the center of excellence here at the university because we said this is where it is and industry said where this action is and industry said yes this is what we ought to do well it wasn't a given deal <laughs> in the state of florida nothing's a given deal so um, with with a lot of help uh, from bob graham our president at the time was trevor colburn help from doug stanley jim pearson i can go down the list uh, bob weisman and, and from Martin Marietta at the time, they all helped. Uh, Bill Nelson was one of our strong proponents, and, and he was extremely helpful as well. We were also trying to get money from the federal government, and it was called the SDI, was the Strategic Defense Initiative, was the big push at, in the early 80s. Um, and so we were trying to get a, a place here, and we succeeded, and it was... Uh, the organization was called um, Innovative Science and Technology Experimentation Facility, and it's still in existence. And in the uh, Creole looks like it positions itself to be able to take um, control, I said control and management of that facility. So we had that in the federal government, and then we also had uh, industry contributing, United Technologies contributed. Um, Litton, what is now Litton, La well, it was Litton Laser, now it's Northrop Grumman. Um, Doug Stanley can tell you about how all that came about. Anyhow, we, we, we worked pretty hard at getting it through. It, the, uh, the most interesting thing, I think, was we were able to get something through the legislature to establish us as that center of excellence. That was not a trivial task because it required a, a great deal of resources. And we finally got through the ledger, like $1.6 million for in perpetuity as well as 16 faculty positions. 
and that carried the day. Um, we then started to look for a more permanent director for the statewide center of excellence. And we uh, eventually we advertised and found the North Texas State guys, MJ Swallow, Eric Van Stralen, and Dave Hagen. And we've uh, in, in, in a few months, we recruited them, their equipment, their students. And in about three months' time, not only we have our little fledgling activity here at UCF, but we also had a really ongoing research group. And that really made it possible. But um, after the money came into the university, of course, it's a, a bit of a feeding frenzy because <laughs> we didn't have that much at the time. And, uh, and, and, and I, unfortunately, I didn't tell MJ about all the, all the stuff he was going to have to face. And uh, I went on sabbatical and I said, good luck, MJ. <laughs> and, of course, he carried the day. And uh, I hope everyone uh, this evening enjoys your time um, in, in the camaraderie and, and meeting some of the other um, senior people at the university. And thank you very much for your time. That was about five minutes. Okay. That's enough. <laughs>